Yes. It's me again. Now, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to review, but I'm going to give you 15 seconds to guess. Ah, that was enough. It's the... Legacy Megazord! Holy crap! This box is freaking bigger than I can show you! Hmm. Look at this giant picture! Oh. Uh, I'm not going to sound any excited, ladies and gentlemen. But, honestly, I think I, I think this is the best thing in my collection. Mr. Algebra Boners all around, please. And thank you. Now, let's actually look at this box for a second. Of course, you've got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo, the 20th anniversary logo, and the Toys R Us exclusive sticker, which is actually true to its word. I never found this other than Toys R Us. In the corner, metallic paint and die-cast parts in three languages. Of course, legacy chromed out. Nice picture of the Megazord in robot mode. I don't know how much this is going to be like a Transformers view. Bleh. But, almost. Nice shot of... All five of them, if I can get it in screen. And just a warning. Now the side. Of course you already know the story. Because if you clicked on this video, I hope you know the story. Just give you a shot, you can read that. Check out this product placement. You want to guess where he is? He's under the table. Yeah, he's hiding. Now the top. If I can get it in frame. There we go. Nice picture of all five of the original Rangers. No, Tommy does not count. The bottom. Holy crap, webcam. Crap cam? You got your contents. More words. Made in Thailand. Or Thailand, whatever you want to pronounce it. And this other side. The Secret of the Power Zords. <laughs> and this is why nobody reviews this toy using a webcam. And of course, you got your tech specs. For not the toy, but for the actual thing in the show. Which is pretty cool. But since when is a pterodactyl chest plate a weapon? Or even power punch missiles, for that sake. He never used power punch missiles in the show. So, I don't get it. In the back. Five dinosaurs can morph together. Yes, because they can. Now there is uh, somewhere on here something that reads about a dragon zord. But since he's not out yet, I don't have him. And yes, they can do that. So, let's get, get down to the main five. Or the only five. Not the only. Here they are. One by one, then. Tyrannosaurus. The red guy. The leader. Now, let me get nerdy for a second. Of course, we all love Mighty Morphin, but in America, or at least in the American version, these were five 
things acting like dinosaurs combined into a robot. But in Japan, they were demigods. Like, what the hell? They turned into a giant god. Like, frig, they made a god. I want a god on my side, not just a friggin' robot. Now, let's take it as I fuck up. Let's take a look at the name. So, of course, in America, it was The Megazord, because nobody ever thought this show would last more than one season. But in Japan, it was Daijujin. So, Dai the first chunk, is Japanese for great. You know how arrogant you are when your name starts with great. The middle is Jew. And no, I do not mean J-E-W. It's a Z-Y-U. Is Beast. Even in their name, the Jew Rangers. They're the Beast Rangers. And all this stuff that's related to beasts and Jews. and Don't go racist. And Jin... Well, it's not a delicious alcohol. It means God. So his name literally meant Great Beast God. Now that's just the best thing ever. But let's take a look at this guy first. Tyrannosaurus. Now, let's count how many things are stickers, since this came with a large sticker sheet. Sticker, sticker, sticker in the mouth, sticker, Sticker. Sticker. Surprisingly, for a Tyrannosaurus, he has a little bit of articulation. <laughs> His arms move this much. How do I show this? This much. His legs. Yeah, some nice, healthy ratchets. His, even his tail. Instead of just breaking off, it, it's on a hinge. It's on a butt hinge. Good. I move it out of the way. That is some hefty click. And yes, even these parts are on hinges. And even the foot is on a hinge. It's almost as articulated as the whole combined form. And he can't stand. He can't stand like this. Unfortunately, he has to stand. Like so. Like so. Visible robot head, almost. Pterodactyl next. The pink one. The simplest one. The one with the big chunk of red in the middle. His head is die cast. Die cast. Now this, although the sticker is not die cast, it is reflective as hell. It's literally reflecting the light off my webcam. Although there is a dent in it. Sticker, 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 sticker. Uh, that's about all the stickers this piece came on. It does have a little bit of articulation. Wings fold. Heads on a double hinge. Can totally do this. Next. Mastodon. The black one. The big chunky brick tank. I guess in this one are in this army of Predacons, maybe. They could be Predacons. Hey, why not? Uh, sticker, sticker, stickers, sticker. You can just put up a count for how many times I say sticker. There are a lot of stickers on this thing. Now, die-cast-wise... Uh, these... 
pieces are metal, the uh, arms of the robot. That's uh, pretty much about it. So in diecast, you can totally transform into having hands for feet. Yeah, his his articulation is just for the robot mode. But oh yeah, his uh his face is not show accurate. It was all it was black. I don't know why they went with like a gunmetal gray. But looks kind of cool. Nice metallic silver tusks and the horn, which can move a little. Mm. Triceratops, then. The blue one. First off, chrome, or not chrome, die cast. Sticker, 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 sticker. Let's play a drinking game of how many times I can say sticker in one video. Sticker, sticker. Sticker. But you can recreate him in the show when he goes and shoots something. But not very well. And it just articulation besides this thing is. Oh, and his horns move a little. For like horn lasers? Maybe? Saber Tooth Tiger. The yellow one. A uh, lot of detail on this one. I mean, there is a lot. There is some molded in detail on the rest of them, but I think Saber Tooth Tiger got the most. Like you can see, nice metallic. My brain just dies for a second. The little saber tooth fang. That is a nice face sculpt, by the way. Only the this part here is sticker, this top little bit. But you get to the side and sticker, sticker. 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 Now articulation wise it can do it can recreate some things in the show where it goes it's jumping pose. Uh, it can say it can give up if you want. It can go halfway into foot mode. Its legs are almost on, are pretty much on wheels. And you can slide in and do that. Of course, the tail also recreates an attack mode. It meh. And it is eye cast. So, now we are going to go into tank mode, since they are a triple changer. Fold those in, fold that in, and just put the claws like that, leg, triceratops, done. This guy. Now I can never remember which way the legs go on. Hmm. Apparently it's this way. Now you are going to murder this thing. <coughs> You're essentially going to turn it into its robot mode arms, but with one step. There you go. Uh, ports or connectors there. And then it connects via here. And 
And then you can take these two things I'm not going to do this with one hand. Whatever. And you have its gun mode. And then you take not knockout, but it knockout sitting back there. Pterodactyl. Fold in the wings. And then you have to perch it. Like how do I do this? I can never remember. I should have thought of this before I shot this view, but there you go. There's your tank. And I forgot a step. The tail plugs in. I've spent 16 minutes just not even talking about the robot. Hey, your tank. And it's pretty cool. I think it's the best iteration I've seen of the Megazord in tank mode, other than the show accurate or the show version. Now, let me get this straight. From what I've seen in the show, the, he transforms at regular speed. Oh, I forgot a piece. Before I start ranting, this piece goes right there just to disappear seconds later but so of course we see him in the show he transforms at regular speed but from what I found out that's actually really freaking slowed down like that's like let's say you were the monster all right you're standing there and they summon their zords so you just try to squish them and they summon their zords. And you're like, if they transform it that slow, couldn't you just be able to crush them? Just like attack them before they finish? But no. Apparently they transform, 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 transform so fast that if you blinked, you'd miss it in real time. That's ridiculous. How are we supposed to know that as an audience? Sorry about that. My computer keeps wanting to black out because I don't touch it. Continuing on. It took until Lightspeed Rescue to show us what an actual real-time combination looked like with the Lightspeed Megazord where they have to actually form it slowly. I'm like, how the hell would we not... How well, how would we know that that's real time? They never explained it, but hey, it's Bandai. What are you gonna do? Let's turn this guy into a robot. Yeah. Oh God. So to do that, oh yeah. Megazord sequence has been initiated. That's where those go. I can get it. There we go. Megazord activated. And there's your legacy Megazord in robot mode. And this is not how accurate. Unfortunately, in the show, this actually melded to look like one piece and just 
these sticking out. But hey, they can't do that in a toy. Now, detail-wise, he looks friggin' awesome. The only thing new is, oh, that head. That's pure nostalgia boner, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't care how weird that sounds. Now, the weird thing about my one, I'll show you this, is you can fold, as to do the transformation, you fold them, they're folded back here. But for some reason, you can fold them both onto one side. So if you look at it, what up in your face, bro? Oh, it's just on the other side. I don't know why that's a feature, but it is. Now, articulation-wise, he's almost a brick. But he has so much more than a brick. Check this out. He can... He has an elbow. Since when does a Megazord have an elbow? And a flip-out gimmick. Check this. Even his legs move. And breaks the to and breaks up the design. There he. Oh, he's got forward breaking knees for like front kicks to your sorry ass face. He's even got toe. His shoulder pads move. It's pretty cool stuff. I don't know about you, but I love this thing. Like, as soon as I saw him at Toys R Us, I had to have him. I was like, there's no way in hell I'm missing out on this thing. This awesome hunk of a bot. Now, of course, since this is the Megazord, he has to come with the Power Sword. Check out this mighty piece of Roamed plastic. But that'll stab an eye out. Now, I know this isn't show accurate. The show accurate one was more varnished and like gray, like battle worn. Still, it's pretty cool. I wish you could do the thing where he pulls it out of the earth, but nope. Or where he does those wild wind and... Wind him? Why? I'm hunting wabbits. You couldn't hear, hear that at all, but whatever. And now I have one issue with this. I think this was an issue with everyone's. Right there, the chrome flaking off. Now... I don't have any chrome paint, but hey, if somebody had chrome paint, I'd definitely put that chrome back on. Sword chopping action. And of course, pterodactyl keeps falling off. And, oh, what about the Mastodon shield, you say? Here you go. He only uses this like once or twice, maybe. It's your shitty little Mastodon shield. Yep. That clunk was pure die cast, people. Die cast arms, die cast legs, and die cast. Gun! The gun! I so wish he'd use this. Like, frig, those are freaking badass. Like, just like some knee guns? That is some heavy clicking. But now, he's my big buddy, he's going back in his big green box. Thank you for watching. I have been That Weird Collector, and this has been my Megazord buddy saying bye. Links in the description.